Hi everyone and welcome. Tonight we're going to be reviewing this TG184 portable wireless Bluetooth speaker and FM radio combo unit. And I bought this from AliExpress, it cost me £10.69 or around about $14 and that included both VAT and shipping. And I'll pop the details on the screen for you now. I have to say, when it has arrived, I was pleasantly surprised because it actually came protected by this air pocket packaging. Normally, these things are tend to be just put in polythene bags and then you keep your fingers crossed as well, not they're going to arrive undamaged all the way from China. But this one has, so without further ado, let's open it up and see what we've got to play with. Well, we've got a little USB recharging leaf, a very thin leaflet, and we've got the unit itself. I ordered this in this teal colour, but it is available in other colours as well. And I'll put the AliExpress store page up just so you can see what's available. I have to confess, I was in two minds whether or not to make this video because this is rather a quirky unit, but then I think you guys like quirkiness, so why not? So why did I buy it? Well, there's two reasons. The first reason is it's actually got two speakers hopefully you can see this from the, the video um you've got the main 52 millimeter driver there and then you've also got a passive radiator unit as well and that just enhances the overall quality of the sound the 52 millimeter driver that's rated at five watts according to the date sheet but to be honest this isn't going to give out five watts but nevertheless it gives a very good account of itself so moving on just to the controls on the right hand side We've got the play and pause button, and that's used primarily when you're in MP3 mode, just going through your tracks, but also it's used for when you want to scan for your FM stations. We've got plus and minus. The plus and minus there adjust the volume up and down, and it also enables you to move up or move down a track when in MP3 mode, or up and down a station when in FM mode. You've got the mode button itself, and that sort of, um, selects between Bluetooth mode and FM mode. It has in fact got another mode as well, but I'll get to that towards the end of the video. Moving to the side, we've got a micro SD card slot there. We've got a main USB connection there. We've also actually got a little torch. I'll just pop the switch on. It's not the most powerful this one, but it's useful. We've got the on off button, and then we've also got the recharging port. Moving to the rear, and this is the other reason why I bought it, it's actually got a solar cell. So you can actually recharge these during the daytime from the sun and not have to worry about sort of plugging in. That's a very unusual feature to find on a, a, an MP3 player of this sort of price point. This I believe is rated around about 0.7 watts and that charges the internal battery which is about 500 milliamps. So it's probably going to take about 8 to 10 hours just to fully recharge it on a nice sunny day. But nevertheless that's a really nice sort of feature. And then we've got on the back there we've got the actual FM aerial when you're in FM mode. So it actually looks like a little radio, but to be honest, treat it more as a sort of wireless speaker. So next thing we need to do is to pair it up and see how she performs. So on the side, switch it on. Bluetooth mode. We're now in Bluetooth mode. It's actually synced to my phone. So what I'm going to do now is just pair up my phone and see if we can actually play a little bit of music. You know, your eyes as red as I'll just say that very briefly because I don't want to get stung by copyright issues but as you can see there it syncs up fine, it actually sounds pretty decent but what I'm going to do now is put a USB stick in the side and see if you can get a bit more of an idea how she performs Detected it Just pause that hopefully that came over the uh, the video okay to yourself but as i'm recording this here that sounds excellent for a unit of this size it's got a really really good sound to it so let me try now a little micro sd i can get that out a little bit tight to stop that momentarily the noise you heard between swapping between the USB and the micro SDs it actually goes into FM mode when you just take that out so that's the noise that you heard so let's carry on anyway <laughs> that 
that's really good to be honest. What I'm going to do now is remove the little SD card and that'll put into FM mode and we can scan for some stations and see what we get. Now scanning for some stations. The little flashing light on the side there indicates that you're scanning. As you can probably tell, it's not picking up an awful lot, but there is a fix to that that I've found. Still scanning. Got it. I think it's got it. There we says. I'll explain this in a moment. Turn that off. Okay, what is he doing, you all ask? Well, just by playing around, actually, found when you just use the normal aerial that's built into it, it's not very good at picking up stations, it's actually sort of quite poor. But if you put a USB lead into the USB socket, use that as an aerial, it increases the signal strength and it picks up a lot more stations. That's why I say this is quirky. It's a very, very unusual thing to sort of happen. But it's just by sheer chance I just thought I'd try it. And blow me, it actually sort of worked. So it's a good tip to remember if you've got a similar device to this, or in fact one of these, and you think, oh crikey, the radio is poor, just try plugging in a USB lead. Now there is another feature I mentioned at the start of the video regarding the mode button. What you can do with this unit, you can also use it to pair up to your mobile phone and answer mobile calls. So when you've paired it up and you get an incoming call, you just press the M button once and you can actually answer that call. There's a little microphone just built in there. I'm not sure if you can actually see that just with that little hole there. And you can talk to whoever it is that you're talking to. And when you finish, you just press the M button again, and then you hang up and you just end that telephone call. And what you can also do, and this is why I say it's a little bit quirky as well, is if you press the M button in succession twice, when you have paired up your, your, um, your phone, it will actually make a call. But I have no idea how you can tell who it is that you're actually calling. If you're on your iPhone, you might be able to sort of do it through Siri. I have no idea. There's nothing in the instruction manual that tells you. And if there's anybody out there who knows how to actually do that and educate me, then that's fine. But as far as I can tell, you can't use it. What this unit needs, would you believe, is just a simple display. And I wouldn't have mind paying another three, four, five dollars for this to have a display. So it gives you all the relevant information. So you can use that feature with some confidence, but it doesn't. And to be honest, a little unit like this, which is the, the TDV26, this only costs around about £6. And that's got all the features of this. It's got a speaker in the back, it's got your USB ports, your uh, um, SD slots, etc, etc. This has got a display. It doesn't sound quite as good as the, uh, as the TG unit, but nevertheless it's got that. So if they can fit it to that, it's a shame they couldn't fit it to this. So it's just, like I say, it's just a quirky device. As, an, as a sort of wireless speaker, not just playing your music through, it's excellent. If you want to use it more as a radio overall sort of thing, there's better out there, I have to say that. And this is my own personal opinion. In my I've had better experience than this one myself. But you know, if you have, please get in contact with me. I'd love to hear your comments in the uh, in the comments section below. So there you have it. It's the TG184 Portable Wireless Bluetooth Speaker and Radio. 
Hopefully you found this review useful. If you did, then pop across my channel. There's plenty of other reviews on similar devices like this, and also some cheap shortwave radios. I also got from AliExpress, some of which are really, really good. So anyway, as always, guys, I appreciate you watching, and I'll catch up with you soon. I was in two minds to make a video about this. Or oh, not, as the case may be. Hi everyone, and welcome. I have to admit, I was a little bit sort of um, not speaking correctly. What have we got to do today is to speak it English. But I thought you guys like quirky, so why not? No, that's still wrong, isn't it? It's a bit quirky, but then I thought, you guys like quirky, so why not? So what do we have to do? To do? Blah, 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 blah. Hi everyone, and welcome. I have to admit, I was a little bit in two minds, a little bit, I'm not in a little bit. Today we have to review a TG184 portable wireless and speak, no, it's not portable wireless. Oh, for God's sake, stop wobbling. I was pleased to say as well, it actually came well packed in this actual pocket air sort of, um, wrapping packaging bollocks things that I can't think of what it's called. 